What are you doing here at Democracy Awakening today? I wouldn't miss it when Democracy Awakens because it has been asleep for a while. That's why I'm here, uh, to make sure Democracy Awakens uh, and to make sure that um, um, uh, my vote counts, to, to make sure that the, the, the voting rights uh, is uh, restored, uh, to make sure that corporations are not buying uh, everybody's vote and uh, uh, to make sure that our country is on the right trajectory because I don't believe our democracy is on the right trajectory right now. And how is democracy awakening and its values important to members of the AFL-CIO? Well, our members have seen uh, uh, stagnant wages, uh, or actually wages going down for the last three decades. And uh, we believe there is a direct correlation of um, uh, democracy not being there, and democracy not expanding instead shrinking, and our wages are also actually shrinking with it. Uh, we believe that, that uh, 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 the other side is restricting people from access to the voting place. Uh, the other side is limiting access to democracy to, to, to people. At the end of the day, to a lower their wages and to take away their benefits and to take away their upward mobility to the middle class. And uh, I am myself individually absolutely convinced that unless we fix our democracy, we can't fix uh, everything that else has, including income inequality. And what do you want legislatures, what do you want the U.S. House of Representatives and the U.S. Senate to hear? What, what message do you want to send them coming out of Democracy Awakening? Well, finally, we want them to hear and we want them to understand that corporations are not people. Uh, money is not, uh, uh, I'm not money, I'm a human being. Uh, I have a feeling, I bleed. Money doesn't bleed. Money is not a human being. And we want them to take money out of uh, money out of politics. Uh, we want them to restore the voting, the voting Rights Act. Our forefathers died for it. And it's slowly going away and we want them to restore that. We want them to uh, be outraged as I am when over 200,000 students in just in one state in North Carolina were turned away from the polling place because they didn't, have, they didn't have proper ID, whatever that is, even though they had student IDs. This is not, I'm an immigrant. I came to this country looking for freedom, looking for democracy, and that's not something I came to this country for. And I risked my life to come to this country for. So I'm gonna fight for it. I'm gonna fight until I die to restore democracy in this country.